It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And coming up, it's Adoree Jackson. He stayed active a week ago with an eight-tackle performance. It's the Giants and the Commanders, all that and more, coming up next. We welcome everybody to the Garden State. EA Sports coverage of the NFL finds us at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey. Today, it's week three, and we've got a good one in store between the Washington Commanders and the New York Giants. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gauden. And Charles, you look at our two quarterbacks in this one, I'd say it's a study in contrast. Young versus, uh, well, let's say experienced. And you are on point about that because you definitely don't say old now. That won't gain you any points, but you're right. you got one guy who's still kind of figuring things out, still at that point where he's learning more with each game he plays. And then on the other side of the field, you've got a guy who's kind of seen it all at this point. Maybe his body slowed a little, but the knowledge of the game, still top notch, and he can win with his mind. It's the first weekend of autumn, and the NFL is in full swing as off we go on EA Sports. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. So here are the Giants ready to start their initial drive of the game. They're led out by their quarterback out of Fresno State. Derek Carr. And I saw that he had an interesting quote in the research packet that we had after last week's game. It's all on me now. I've got to lead my team and find a way for us to win a game. 0-2, oh but they're at home. I guess he's going to try and find a way to get the home crowd involved early. Play action. Now it's Carr. And incomplete to open things up. Nice job there, forcing that incompletion. This is going to be a fun battle throughout this game, watching him try to take away that area of the field. On the ground, this is Saquon Barkley, and he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. And force the incompletion on first down, then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going into the quarterback in an expected passing situation. And that's caught inside the 35. And he'll be touched down here, but not before he does pick up the first. It's a big play for the Giants on third down. 42 yards. All right, Charles, let me put you in the head of one of those defenders out there. You have a big play like that go against you so early. What Does that shake your confidence? It shouldn't, but it often does because your thought process all during the week is how you're going to get after that offense and make your plays. And when they make one against you, it makes you a little bit hesitant. Time to regroup. Car now on first down. James has got it. Complete. He'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six. Well, this defense for the Commanders, it's much improved from week one. They were terrific last week in getting their guys their first win of the season. And I'm eager to see the game plan and trying to attack them this week because... Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. The safety blitz turns out to be a great call defensively as they sack him for a loss of nine. So that time, Charles, a uh, quarterback helpless, really, in the pocket in the face of a pass rush like that. They were on him instantly. And they decided to go with the safety blitz there. And look, if that gets picked up, quarterback really has the advantage then because he'll have more time to throw the football and some wide open space. But when it doesn't, that's a guy who gets a free run into the backfield. And oftentimes, the QB ends up on his backside, as he did there. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And that will be incomplete. Oh, he left that one in a bad spot. But fortunately, it's just an incompletion and not picked to bring up fourth down. Gano's kick is good. But now there is a penalty marker on the field. So let's see what this is about. And that flag accepted. The roughing the kicker called on fourth down. What a big break. Leads to a first and ten. 
Into the red zone, it's Carr. Completing it to the right side, Johnson. And they've got this down to about the 12-yard line. They go back to the ground now with Barkley. And he'll be dropped at about the 11 after only a yard. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. Play number nine set to come here on the drive on third and two. On play action, now Carr. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Man coverage is certainly a staple of their defense, and it's built for plays like that, forcing that incompletion. Gano's kick is good, and the Giants are off now to a 3-0 lead. Had just the one big play on the drive, but that was enough to put him in field goal range. Yeah, one big play of what they hope will be many others throughout the game. Every team has a different target for the number of plays like that, those explosives that we talk about. That allowed him to put points on the board on that drive. Let's see how the rest of the game goes. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. Here are the commanders for their first drive of the game. And they will be led out by their signal caller in his second year of the NFL now. Okay, I'm not taking a turn to negative town, even though it's going to sound like it. The two interceptions he threw last week, those obviously have to be eliminated, and that was the focus of practice this week. But let's face it, he did throw three touchdown passes. And they got the win. And they got the win, so I think it was a good... things had some positives the wind being for, first and foremost now he's just got to eliminate those interceptions first and ten here for Hal and the commanders at their own 19 yard line now a first carry here for Robinson and he's got some space here and they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down 23 yards on the pickup there and a first well, partner, I have to say they caught him in the right defense there. Nickel set, fifth defensive back on the field, and they love to run against that because now you typically get a bigger blocker okay, on a smaller ready. defender. Yeah, because those DBs like you, they want the interception. They're not as worried about the running play, right? <laughs> not at all. And I, I, used to, I, I still remember being in school, and one of my offensive line teammates used to say, boy, I'd love to come downfield and hit you little people. <laughs> Good run there. 15 more yards there and quickly another first down. A couple of very nice carries to start this drive out. Yeah, two first downs. And how about that second one? What a nice run on that particular play. I'm telling you, they're going to start to think that this game is easy if they continue to rip off yardage like this. So the drive takes them into Giants territory now. First and 10 at the 43. A give up the middle to Gibson. And some space to move right away as he's all the way up to the 30. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. So back-to-back -back big runs, picking apart this defense on the opening drive. I thought this was a passing league. I thought this was the era we were in where the ball was always in the air, right? They didn't get the memo. They didn't get the memo, and I know this to be true. Offensive linemen still, to this day, they want to run the football. And he fires one that's intercepted. Nick Needham picks it off. And the Giants are going to have the football here at their own 18-yard line. A young quarterback, Charles, rolling to his right. I know he's right-handed, but is that one that maybe a veteran sticks in his pocket? I think so, but you have to remember with young quarterbacks, it may take a few years before they get all the stuff out of them that they did earlier in their career or even in their college days when they were used to being dominant. In this case, the NFL veteran defense ended up winning the battle. Pass to 20 for a short gain, second down. These are his numbers from last week's contest. 
12 carries, 52 yards. I can't remember the last time we did a game and a coach didn't talk about establishing the run first, but they've lost two straight games, so they still want to do that, but they've got to have some contingencies, some other options. Expect them maybe to throw it a little bit to open up things and maybe run it a little bit more later in the game. The result, only four yards there on the play, and that's going to bring up third and two. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. Three nothing after one on EA Sports. Ready to roll for the second quarter from MetLife Stadium. The Giants with the football as they've got it with a third down coming up. Carr. Got a man, Slayton. And he will have a Giants first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. A first down carry for Barkley, and he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Carr going to throw. They'll set up the screen to Barkley. So the screen good for only two. Now it's third down. Good reactions there defensively. slow in developing and they shut that one down with little gain and this offense on third down today they've hit two for four thus far this time it's third and three card out of throw he completes it to back him. and he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46 yard line I don't care how many times we see it. I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. Working with his second and four. Again, it's Carr. That's complete. He's got Barkley out of the backfield. And he's got Rome. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. It'll go as an impressive 31-yard gain. Well, with Saquon Barkley, you often think of the elusiveness, the quickness, but <laughs> he can definitely run with purpose as well, and he's able to shed a tackler there and continue on. Here's Carr to throw. Got his tight end. That's complete. It's Johnson. Touchdown! Juwan Johnson, his first touchdown here of the new campaign. And they are able to add on to their advantage. Extra point try good by Gano. And the lead grows to 10 0. That time, a nine play drive. And it was polished off. By a Giants touchdown. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Now Washington going to retake the field for drive number two. And they're in an early hole. The first drive, they threw the interception. That led to a touchdown. So decent-sized deficit early on. It is, but I think you hit the key words, early on. So they have to decide, do we even need to change game plan? Or do we just need to execute better and try and get back in this game? And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. And Howell will throw it. And that'll be incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Robinson will try to pick it up. 
And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. 57 yards rushing for him now on just his first three carries. His first carry of their second drive, pretty solid. And, of course, remember back to their first drive, really strong throughout that one. Not only is he getting good blocking up front, but how about his vision to find the holes? And he's seeing things before they even open and hurtling through them. Making the handoff, Howell. Oh, this one incomplete. The pressure got to him as he released it. And it's second down. They well, certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver. But they just couldn't connect. And that will send them back to the drawing board. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Second and ten, Howell. And he will find his big tight end over the middle. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants 21. A really good pickup of 28 yards. And Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. With a play fake, and now here's how to throw it. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked off by Xavier McKinney. And the Giants are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. Well, CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it, and his coaching staff will be emphatic about he shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted, on the job training. So he's got to take this feedback that he's getting, negative or otherwise, and turn it into positives moving forward. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. To throw again on second down. Carr, he'll let it go deep for Beckham. He right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by Benjamin St. Juice. And the Commanders are going to get this back to their own 34-yard line. So this defense coming up with a takeaway, and maybe that's something that can bring a little life to that sideline. Well, I don't want to say that they've been sleepwalking through this first half because that's simply not true, but you're right. We haven't seen a lot of fire from these guys, really, on either side of the ball. So maybe that's the catalyst that they needed to get them back into this game. Howell's throw complete to Dodson. On the move past the 40. And they'll get this to the 30-yard line before crossing over out of bounds. Big yardage after the catch. That one winds up going for 36. This offense has been slow to get started, but that play will certainly give them a little bit of life. Maybe the late wake-up call that they had been seeking. So the big play has them all the way down to the 30 now for first and 10. Now throwing on first down here. And that is incomplete. Well, the incompletion, yes, but maybe here not the worst thing in the world? No, not on first and 10. Actually gives them a chance to regroup, relax just a little bit. They huddle up, talk it over. Then they get a chance to continue their drive. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Nick Needham picks it off. And the Giants are going to take over here at their own 22-yard line. Boy, so another interception, C.D., and it feels like he's starting to unravel a little bit. And as you would expect, still a work in progress here in his second season. He has to start ironing out some of these mistakes, though, because now his head coach, his offensive coaches, they have to evaluate whether you keep playing him and let him work through it, or you start thinking about going to his backup. The car's throw complete there to Beckham. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Throwing on first down is Carr. 
And he wisely will throw that one away. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. To throw again on second down. Carr. And that is incomplete. Feels like they're getting caught in between here because they didn't completions on first and second down. Now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. But if you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. Now yet another incompletion here as they fail to connect on third. Yeah, last week in the loss, five punts as he gets this one away. He'll return it from the six. And right around the 20, he'll head out of bounds. Well, a solid punt, but also a nice return there of 14 yards. And the Commanders will take over with a first and 10. Trying to shake off the interception, he'll look to throw. That's out to the flat for Gibson. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. So the completion good for seven there. And that'll make it second down. Out of the gun, it's Howell. Gets it to Strong. And he'll be out of bounds right at the 40. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. For a tight end, he's got good straight line speed, and on that route, he's often the guy that gets overlooked. Nice job there finding him in stride for really good yardage. First down, Hal to throw. He'll check that down to Gibson out of the backfield. So the completion good for just three. And it's second down. And now Washington going to go ahead and use their final timeout as the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. And once more, Hal back to the air. He completes this one to Terry McLaurin. Oh, he's brought down. And remember here, no timeouts left. They got to get to the line quick. So we have reached halftime with our score 10-0. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Time to give you folks at home a look around the NFL on this first official weekend of fall. So let's get to it. We'll get started up at Lincoln Financial Field in Philly. And it's the Eagles who are out in front. The Eagles try and hold on and claim victory. We'll stay in the NFC East as we head down to the great state of Texas to check on the Cowboys at home at AT&T Stadium. And they have the lead over the visiting New York Jets. Ezekiel Elliott has run for a touchdown there. Lastly, let's get you to Charlotte, North Carolina. Check on the Panthers at home at Bank of America Stadium. And that one all even in their matchup with the visiting Dolphins. On now to a look at the next-gen stats in that first half for Washington. And they didn't get a whole lot accomplished through the air in those first two quarters of play. They'll need to up their game if they want to rally all the way back. Meanwhile, for the Giants, they too didn't throw the ball as well as they would have liked. And I think both teams would say there's room for improvement in the second half. Both teams making their final adjustments for the second half to come. And to bring the action your way, we go back to MetLife Stadium and Brandon God. Okay, Coach, thanks as always to you and the gang in Orlando as we welcome everyone back in for quarter number three. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. And we'll get another look now at Sam Howell in this commander's offense. And that first half was nothing short of a disaster. Zero points on the scoreboard and a big three in the INT column. So they've got to get him going, obviously, right? So you've got to get him in rhythm. And we always think of short passes. I think of jet sweeps where they just kind of toss the ball forward. You know, that counts as a forward pass. And then you can say to him, look at that. You completed three, four, five in a row. Now you've got to get your confidence going. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Here's Hal. And his throw is incomplete. 
you get the sense that they're saying we're not playing up to what we're capable of and we're deep enough into the game that the early jitters are long gone that they should now have some sense of continuity and be able to make some of these plays that they have not been doing so far throwing there but this pass is going to wind up incomplete here's Tressway now standing just outside his own goal line And now a fair catch called for and taken just outside the 40-yard line. So now the Giants set to take over on offense. They lost two straight coming in, but good news for them right now. They've got the lead and the football. So good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at their own 43. Now Carr. Quick slam complete to OBJ. And he'll be brought down just shy of 40. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try to put the hammer down and finish this one off. 13 yards, good for a giant first down. Well, that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. And he'll be marked down right at the 20-yard line. Second down, here's Barkley. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. Two yards, good enough for a first. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. And they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. They keep it with Barkley on first down. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. Saquon Barkley, his second rushing touchdown on the year. And his guy's now an extra point away from taking a three-score lead. Gano the extra point, and that makes our score 17-0. So that drive spanned five plays, and it ends with a Saquon Barkley touchdown run. This is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand They've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Second and two. They'll go play action. Howell. Looking for Dotson, and he's got him. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. On first and 10, it's Gibson. And some room to work. And he'll cross over out of bounds right at the 25. Add the gain here to the previous play, and it's better than 40 yards total. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. Pal to the air on first and ten. Looking for McLaurin, and he's got him. Touchdown, Washington. A great effort there. His second touchdown on the season. And the Commanders are able to make some inroads here to that deficit. Well, Charles, he's still a young signal caller in this league, second year in the NFL. But I don't know if last year as a rookie if he would have worked to his progressions like he did on that touchdown pass. I think you're right about that. We're seeing him grow up right in front of our eyes because when he went to his primary read, he recognized that they were all over that. So he continued to survey the field, 
Picked up another target, delivered a pass exactly where it needed to be. A very mature play for the second-year quarterback. This will be fielded inside the five. And he will make it to... And no further. New York's offense back out there and set to go. This now a 10-point game, so things tightening a little bit after that last score. Go. On first and 10, here's Carr. He gets this one to Johnson. It certainly feels like there are more stars at the tight end position than there were even 10 years ago. And I think it's become more of a glamour position because of the ways it can hurt a defense, and guys want to be involved. They can be in line, close to the line of scrimmage. They can split out like receivers. But hands, route running, speed, and some toughness to go across the middle, you put it all together, you get a heck of a tight end candidate. Now, hang on. We got an injured player down there. Oh, boy, that's Odell Beckham Jr., OBJ, who's hurting. We'll get an update when we return to MetLife Stadium. They'll try to run for it with Barkley. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. But we tend to give those running backs that are slashers a lot of credit, but how about guys who are maulers? Because that's what you want in short yardage situations, and we just saw that occur right there, didn't we? Vertical, downhill running. Car now on first down. James has got it. Complete. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. First down, Giants on a pickup of 14. Shotgun now for Carr. Complete. It's Johnson. So give him two yards there on the completion. And that'll bring up second down. Carr going to throw. This one is Slayton over the middle. And he'll be brought down at what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. So both teams trade touchdowns in the third as we're through three quarters of play. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back now here in East Rutherford. In Washington territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 43. Barkley inside handoff. Benjamin St. Juice there on the stop. Starting to become a tough spot for this defense. You're down fourth quarter. Looking a little fatigued maybe on that side of the ball. Partner, we've seen this before, haven't we? Because every coach we've ever talked to says body language is important. And now you're seeing guys with their hands on their hips. They're bent over, hands on their knees. And the offensive guys are just saying, let's just keep running it out. We got them now. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. Well, that should be a reminder defensively, and I think it's a reminder to myself because you just can't sell out to stop the run. There's still enough time that this offense can move the football through the air, even on first and second downs, and they obviously picked the right spot to throw the ball there. Carr now on first down. Catch made by Slayton, and he'll be brought down at about the 23-yard line. This drive's taken more than three minutes off the clock already as they come up on second down. 
Up the middle with Barkley. And able to get about three as he's taken down right at the 20. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. And that is caught. He's got it for a giant touchdown. Darius Slayton, a 20-yard touchdown. And the Giants look like they're about to put an end to their two-game losing streak as they add on to their lead. Extra point try good by Gano. And that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. From the six. And he brings this out past the 20 to the 24. Out comes Washington's offense as they get set to take over here. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. Kayvon Thibodeau, he beat the O-line and recorded the sack. I remember throughout my career here in defensive coaches always say, guys, you've got to earn the right to rush the passer. Well, they put themselves in a great spot with this big lead, and they know they've got to throw the ball. These pass rushers have to be salivating. It is pin your ears back time indeed. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. On first down, Hal. Over the middle, complete to Samuel. A good gain on first, has him set up with second and just a couple of inches now from the 29. Second down, Hal down. He's got it, and now look at this, big gain, but a fumble. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 34-yard line. Hal from the gun. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. Another throw for Howell. This will be caught at about the 5. And he gets halfway home from the 10 to the 5 on a pickup of 5. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. Xavier McKinney, the one to get a hand on it defensively. Fourth down, Hal, desperation time. And that is caught. Touchdown, Washington. A five-yard touchdown. And the Commanders have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. I'm not sure win-win is the proper term here, but it certainly felt like it. They got the touchdown they needed. But if I'm on the defensive side of the ball, okay, you got the touchdown, but it sure took you a long time. Yeah, because offensively, though, you're probably hoping for a one-to-five play drive. That one ate up a little more time than they were hoping. You're exactly right. And if you have that one-to-five play drive, you actually build up momentum and even more hope. When they had to slog their way downfield, they got the touchdown, but it's almost like, ah. Uh, yeah. yeah, you know. It doesn't you got, feel right. Exactly. <laughs> And this is going to be covered up by the Giants. They knew they needed a miracle. They had to have that onside kick. They didn't get it. Well, as we knew, even before they put the, the toe to the leather on that one, their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And I do believe we saw Slim just leave the door, didn't we? We did, indeed. I think we're down to none. 
Oh, he's got a plug of this. Middle of the field. A breakaway. And all the way in. Touchdown, New York. Saquon Barkley. His second touchdown of the game. His third on the year. And the Giants have extended their lead to 15 now here in the fourth. Got to be feeling confident they're going to get off the schneid. An old coach told me he calls this a relief win. 0-3 you know, <laughs> would have been bad. You get to 1-2, and two, you feel a lot better, don't you? That is so true, and you feel better about yourself. You, 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 know, you think to yourself, okay, we're still in the playoff hunt. We're not out of it at 0-3. But the other part, too, it leads to doubt about your system. It leads to doubt about your coaches. They don't have to worry about that now. They can move forward. He hits the big target for the two-point try. <laughs> Defenses hate those guys, especially around the goal line. It's hard to decide who you're going to put on him. Are you going to put a smaller corner on him? Are you going to put a safety who doesn't have maybe the same coverage skills? How about a linebacker? He may have the size, but he's not. There he goes, right side. And he brings this one all the way back. So definitely good for the individual stats. Maybe not for our storyline, but he's in for the late score. It's been a back-and-forth game, a lot of points on the board, and that return right there kind of indicative of how this thing's gone. Yeah, you've seen both teams go at it, and as you just pointed out, both of them have found the end zone. But just like in boxing, you know the blow that hurts the most? The one you didn't see coming, and that often is the case when it comes in special teams. Powell to throw. And he's got it for the two-point conversion. So they tack on a pair more here to narrow that deficit a bit further. So they go with a pass there on the two-point try and able to convert it, Charles. And a good job by the offense figuring out their two-point play and using it well. It's interesting how people are using the strategy nowadays, though, isn't it? It really is, and I don't know how much that one, that particular play factored in, but with the PAT moving back in 15-16, that kind of changed things, didn't it? It's really a part of everyone's strategy now. When I talk with coaches and when we sit with them, they always talk about they actually have two-point periods it's in practice now, something they never really did before. The New York set to take the field. Now they are really in the driver's seat here, enjoying this lead late in the fourth quarter. The defense does have all three timeouts, but at this point, it doesn't look like it's going to matter much. They'll try and run some clock here with Barkley. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. 95 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. And Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts as the clock will stop with an even 20 seconds left to go. They'll go to Barkley again. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. And the tackle going to be made at the 41 as they stop him a few yards short of the first. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. And there'll be time for maybe one final play before we hit triple zeros. Out there, set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. Powell with one final shot. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked by Julian Love. And the Giants are going to take over at their own 11-yard line. So a victory here for the men in blue, the New York Giants. And they were buoyed, Charles, by a big second half that put this one on ice. So you get the sense that whatever was said at halftime obviously hit home. I think it's a little bit more than that, though. Obviously, there are words that are said, and, hey, come on, guys, we have to play better. But sometimes it's just sharpening your execution, sharpening your focus, and maybe doing the things you practiced all week without major adjustments, just doing them better. And that got it done in this one. So for the Giants, they're into the win column now as they move to one and two on the young season. And they'll have another home date next week as the Miami Dolphins come to town.
Meanwhile, for the commander.